Last week, an intriguing post by the Facebook group RCN Skyline sparked a lively debate across social media platforms. The post, which featured an image depicting the supposed national fruits of various Southeast Asian countries, unexpectedly stirred controversy over the inclusion of durian as Singapore's national fruit. Many Singaporeans are known for their love of durians, but this choice raised eyebrows, especially among our neighbours in Malaysia. A flood of comments from Malaysians questioned the authenticity of this claim, with some humorously noting the apparent irony. Where does Singapore grow their durian one has to ponder, a commenter asked, highlighting the fact that Singapore, with its limited agricultural land, does not grow durians on a significant scale. The conversation took a playful turn as Malaysians joked that Singapore's durians must come from their own country. One Facebook user pointed out that the best durians in Singapore actually hail from popular durian growing districts in Malaysia, such as Segamat, Pago, and Rob. The user added, with a touch of humor, that these places are not far from Woodlands MRT station, poking fun at the geographical proximity and the cross border trade of the fruit. Despite the jest, a few Singaporeans were quick to defend the depiction. One commenter mentioned that in the past, Areas like Nay Soon and Sembawang were known for having durian trees. Another voice on Reddit offered a different perspective, suggesting that the choice of a national fruit is not necessarily about where it's grown but rather what a country's people enjoy. They argued that both Singapore and Malaysia could share durian as their national fruit, noting that Singaporeans are willing to pay top dollar each season for what is often referred to as the king of fruits. Curiously, the debate has not extended to Indonesia where durian is also listed as a national fruit in the same post. This raises an interesting question about how national symbols are chosen and what cultural significance they hold for different countries. We invite you, our viewers, to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you think durian should be considered Singapore's national fruit, despite not being cultivated here? Or do you believe a national fruit should be something that is both locally grown and beloved? Let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, 2230, for more interesting news and discussions like this one. And here's a thinking question for you, what criteria do you believe should be used to decide a country's national fruit? Share your thoughts in the comment.